in Wales, the double D is pronounced as a, a, a th. It's like the TH in the. So uh, you pronounce my name Freddy. Really? That's right. I'm not offended. It's happened all my life, you know. <laughs> Freddy. I am alive and Welsh, yeah, which is the name of my upcoming autobiography, so thanks for that. But two, two things that people thought about me for the past 25 years was that I was, well, dead and, you know, um, not Welsh. It was the early 90s, right, and somebody put on Twitter that I, was, I died. It was one of these Twitter jokes that a celebrity had died. And they ran with it, front page, Freddy's dead. Another one bites the dust from the rock fraternity. I thought, what can I do? You know, it wasn't right. But then record sales went absolutely through the roof. And the label said, you know, we think you might have to stay dead. So I'd been thinking I want to break free from this anyway. So I just, I went home to mother. I thought I'll keep myself alive and I'll just, you know, see if I can find myself somebody to love. Because you know, who wants to live forever anyway? So that's what I did. Lonely, lonely, ah, got to be some good times ahead. Well, Queen moved on, you know, eventually they had Paul Rogers. I phoned Paul when, after all this had happened and I said, Paul, you know, this is all very well and good and I can see why you're enjoying it, but what if I want to come back and sing with Queen? Uh, and he said, well, don't stop me now, mate. I'm having such a good time. I don't want to stop at all. Which I understand. I, I said, look, you know, play the game. Save me the details. But uh, he was under pressure to sell records. It's a hard life, you know. I need one of these pants up here. Probably that one. I listen to a lot of the old Queen records and I play them a bit, you know, because I, I like to do them the way they were originally written. Because a lot of this stuff was about me growing up in Wales. Mother, did field a man Put a gun against his head Pulled my trigger, now he's dead Before Queen, I wrote a lot of jingles. And that, uh, that, that very much, if I can remember, it sounded, sounded much more like this. All we hear is Radio Gaga Gok. Nobody knows what the word Gok means outside of Wales. Where, well, you know what it means. I, I don't have to tell you what Gok means in Wales. Are you going to take me home tonight? That word wasn't changed at all. It was about fat bottom girls. Oh, good. Give me a good old round two melons in a leather bag, you know, that kind of thing. You know, the piano's been my, uh, my greatest friend. I, I do miss playing it live, you know. But, uh, you know, these things happen, you know, it's just the way it is. Oh, fuck. I think if I'd have carried on as a rock and roll star, I'm not sure how much further I'd have got, you know. So it's fine, you know. Just people get so stressed, don't they? With people running around now. The world's changed so much since I apparently died. And people are so stressed, so busy. And, you know, nothing really matters, does it? Anyone can see that. Nothing really matters. Not to me, anyway. <laughs> We'll be